Alrighty guys, today we are going over the many types of blades and their uses. In this video, we are going to be talking about all the available blades for the 42 inch Craftsman Husqvarna and Poland, Poland Pro riding mowers. I am going to explain the difference between each blade and what application that they are used in. Stay tuned. Forty-two inch high lift blade. It's commonly used for bagging and side discharging applications. It's available in factory, OEM, and aftermarket. Now up here on the table I got two different blades. I got an aftermarket and a regular factory blade. And let me explain the difference between these two that I have up here. Alright, so we're going to first start off with the factory blade. This is what the factory blade looks like. If you flip it over on the end, you see right there. It's a factory blade. It's upside down, but it's factory blade. Now, what is a high lift blade? Well, a high lift blade looks like this. It's straight. There's the cutting end. And right here is why they call it a high lift blade. Now, all blades have some sort of lift on them. Some of you might call them a lip. Others oh, a trailing edge. But it's this part right here on the cutting edge. This here's the cutting end, and this here's the lift. What this lift does is it creates air movement underneath the deck to lift the grass for a clean cut and to put it out the side of the deck if you're side discharging or put it up into the bagger if you're bagging. This blade is good for bagging or side discharging applications. You cannot use it with mulching because that can damage things and tear up the deck and it wouldn't work right. Alright, in the back here is a aftermarket blade, a heavy duty version of the aftermarket blade. Of course, links will be in the description below. This right here replaces those numbers right there, if you can read them. And as you see, this blade here is thicker than this blade. Now, what, it, what is a thicker blade? Well, the thickness of the blade that's how heavy it is. Now the heavier the blade generally the longer it will last in some cases that's true but all blades will wear out over time. The uh, heavy duty blades or the thicker blades are commonly used in sandy applications because they wear better and they last a little bit longer than a standard blade. But the heavy duty blades cost more than a standard blade. Now this standard factory blade right here is also available in standard um, aftermarket. Alright, now we're moving on to the mulching blades. There is the factory part number. It is used for mulching and side discharging applications or if you frequently convert from mulching to side discharging, mulching blades are a great option. That way you don't have to change from a high lift blade. Now mulching blades will side discharge perfectly and just the same as a high lift blade and um, some mulching blades are actually three in one blades. I don't have any to show but they are out there. They're both standard, standard thickness, standard size. Um, this one here is a factory blade, this one here is an aftermarket blade. Um, if you notice on a mulching blade it's not straight like a high lift blade. Here's a high lift blade for example, it's completely straight. We look at the mulching blade and it's got all these curves and dips in them. So I'm going to explain all these little curves and dips on a mulching blade. Alright, so if we look here, you got your cutting edge here and it goes all over the place. You've got the lift part right here that pulls the grass up and into the deck. Then you got this dip right here. Now what that dip does is when it's cutting and you're mulching, it's going to pick the grass up, it's going to cut it, and then pick up the clippings into the underside of the deck. And then this part right here creates a down draft that pulls the clippings back in, and this part right here recuts the clippings, and vice versa. This here's a lift, and this here's a lift, and this here is also a lift, but it's a down draft lift. 
Now, if you're not mulching, does this downdraft still work? Yes, it does. It'll still recut the clippings, but instead of being recirculated, it will just be launched out the side like a regular high lift blade. So if we look on the back here, this time not upside down, we see standard part number, and this is factory blade. We got a aftermarket blade here, which, like I said, aftermarket is generally cheaper than a factory, and they last thing. This here's a standard thickness aftermarket blade. Right there's the part numbers. Um, this blade right here is 0.134 thickness. What on earth kind of blade is this? Well, it's called a gator blade. You can pause to read that there. Now, it's called a gator blade. And uh, I call them a chew up almost anything you run over blade. This blade, instead of a regular lift, on say a high lift blade. Unlike a regular lift on a high lift blade, this blade has teeth on the ends of them. These teeth shred whatever goes through them. If you're doing a leaf cleanup, these blades are awesome. They'll mulch them right to pieces. If you're cutting very tall, very thick, weedy undergrowth and brush and stuff, these blades will cut right through it. Or if you're just cutting your own on average lawn, it'll do it to this blade right here is what they call a high performance blade or commonly known as gator blades. Now if you notice this blade right here is thick. It is almost twice as thick as a regular blade. And it's got more cut cutting edge on them and it's a little bit wider for more airflow. And this these teeth right here like I mentioned before when this blade is underneath the deck spinning, it recuts the clippings multiple times, similar to that of a mulching blade. But if you notice, this blade is completely straight. And that's the advantage of this blade, is it's an all-around versatile blade. Um, you cannot bag with this blade. There are certain gator blades you can bag with, but this particular one I'm showing you cannot. Um, they're commonly used in side discharging applications, or um, mulching applications. Now keep in mind this blade is heavier than the other blades, but it's also heavy duty. So now that we've seen this one here, and this one here is called a Predator 2 blade, it is aftermarket. So I hope you all found this video helpful now that you know all the different types of blades that are out there. Um, I hope that you all were able to find the uh, blade that you like to use. and. Uh, Hopefully I'll pass this information on to anybody else wondering. And just remember, a blade's a blade, and at the end of the day they all cut grass. But performance and different uses require a different blade. So with that being said, you can find all the links to all of this in the description below. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please let me know. Over and out.